Welcome gents, welcome back to Eastern Nits Town TV. Um, good performance, good victory, and we're moving up the table. How do you see it today, Nathan? Yeah, I think the lads are uh, set up to the task we set them at the start of the game. Uh, I thought we was uh, ruthless in most areas. I think they stuck to the task very well. Had a bit of a wobble, which you're going to get sometimes, you know, when you're down there. Uh, but I think overall we deserve to win the game. And I think what you're seeing now is a set in the outside that are begin beginning to manage games, uh, setting our stall out, defending properly. You know, if the ball needs to be turned, it's not got to be crazy, lovely football at the back. It's got to be disciplined, organised. And at the final third, let them express themselves and show them, you know, the fans and themselves what they can do. So I thought it was a very, very well managed game by us today. And I think we deserve the points. It looks like we've had three uh, good set of fixtures now, three good performances, and each time the performance has continued to build, and we've we starting to get the results now. You know, starting from Bedford, Banbury last week, another good victory, and then the, the work rates continued. In my opinion, today the first half I thought was the most complete first half of football I've seen for a long, long time from us. What, what did you think of that? I think what you'd say, obviously, we've been here four weeks now. I guess it's been here slightly longer, but things don't change overnight. Um, we have to slowly put our stamp and our authority on it, and the lads got used to the way we work. And I think we look at the games, it doesn't matter to us whether it's a good run of games or whether it's a set or a Hemel. You know, we've beat Hemel in the first game we've come in. So I don't think the games are important. It's how we adapt to the games as we grow and they get used to us and we get used to their strengths and weaknesses. And I think you're right. I think the first half, we looked very mature. I think it looked like it wasn't a side that's in the bottom two, bottom three is a side that you'd think actually this is a good side uh, but I think slowly uh, lads are taking on board messages and they're starting to do the right things and, and now we're starting to reap the, the rewards what we won't do is get carried away there's still a hell of a lot of work to do a long way to go uh, you know a lot of digging in to do uh, a lot of learning to do and growing it together and we'll just keep plugging away as best we can um, like I said terrific first half uh, Matty Nolan has scored the two goals for us in the first half put in a great shift and he's just one of the whole team that's put in a great shift today. Um, what was it like in the dressing room at half time? Uh, it's just, you know, just reminding the guys that games never won at half time. As you rightly say, we we had a good first half. We were on top, well on top. Matty has scored a couple of great goals, but game was never won at half time. So it's making sure we come out and got the job done. And a huge three points for us today. Yeah, massive three points. Like you say, uh, other results going our way, um, and we've now. Uh, lifted one spot up the table and um, the climb continues I suppose um, just looking back at how we've progressed so far obviously we've had new personnel coming in and you've obviously got a vision and a plan in your minds um, how's that all coming together now in, in as far as where you've started and where you are now what you what's your assessment well I think we, we, we've bought um, in some players which a new management team is always going to do um, and, and they're responding well and settling in nicely. I think more importantly this week we had a Tuesday and a Thursday in training to work with the, the whole group, the players that were here before we arrived um, and the players that have joined and I think in the first half especially we saw the benefit of that. It was a great midfield battle at times today and it did get a bit feisty towards the end in the second half where one of their lads got a red card. I don't know what you saw of that Nathan but um, it looked like he just sort of dived in from where I was do you see it any better than that? I mean it is a Southern Premier you know tackles are going to fly and I think you know a bit of frustration on their behalf you know we're kind of bossing the game or dictating to them and the lads lost his head a little bit I wouldn't say it was uh, totally malicious uh, but I think it was probably not needed and you know one thing we, we get onto our lads is not to do that because we want to finish every game with 11 men so not really going to talk too much about what their lads are doing I don't think you know it could have been sent off another day it's not sending off uh, I'm, just ha I'm just happy that they've come out of it okay. I think that's the, the important thing that you know our lad wasn't hurt. The second half, um, it's always difficult to start a second half when you've had such a terrific first half and we just seem to sort of, not panic, but we weren't just as composed as we were um, and I noticed uh, you were shouting from the, from the goal there to try and get the lads get their heads back in the game because we were just panicking a little bit weren't we? I think you know they say for a reason it's a game of two halves uh, as we've gone in 2-0 up we haven't got nothing to do clean sheet wins us the game uh, what you know is if you're on the opposing end and you're 2-0 down you come out in the second half and you just go gung-ho and give it your all and, and that's what the lads have to cope with you know they, they've got nothing to lose now they're going to hit balls forward they're going to be making runs that they weren't making uh, in the first half and it's, it's always to be net, a bit edgy when, when it's a 2-0 because I've always through my career 2 0 is a dangerous score because a little goal the the pendulum swings with them and then you start thinking getting a bit nervous but I thought the lads after five or ten minutes settled down we got the ball down I think they were just more concerned about conceding early and giving them something to feed off a bit 
like you know the games we looked at before. So uh, the message we said is like not to concede and make sure we don't concede again. I think you know that's why sometimes you'll get nerves. But as we grow, okay, and the players mature, then you'll just see them come out in the second half, and it'll be, it'll be a minute little spell, and then we'll be back on our game. And I think this is what you have to respect in the game of football. Whether a team's poor or good, they are going to have a spell, mm. uh, and it's how you cope with that spell, which is which is the most important thing. So I think maybe this team, two, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, six weeks ago, may have conceded two in that spell. Yeah. Uh, we've conceded one, which is enough to keep us within the game and go and get another one to put the game to bed so credit to him and I must say a little unlucky to concede that one goal it was a massive deflection was it off Ryan Freighter wasn't it and you had um split second to react and try and get to it but um it was gone past wasn't it yeah it's one of those things footballs you know uh the shot's probably not harming me, but as a centre half, I expect him to try and make the block, and he's done what I would expect him to do. You know, all I can do is try and react to the deflection, which I haven't. Uh, they've not really had any shots on goal. I think that was the only real effort on goal. Haven't had to make any saves again. Uh, and again, credit to the lads who've let Banbury away, haven't had to make saves. And I think that's by just keeping us organised, it's limiting what myself, whether it be me, whether it be Niall, whoever's in goal, it just limits the amount of saves we're having to make, which is fantastic. Hey, what did you say to Lewis Wilson today? That's a terrific performance I've seen from him today. He seemed like a different player. He seemed like a new player. Player, do you know what I mean? Yeah, we asked him, you know, to work hard, and um, we know his strengths, and we work with those um, in training again on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and I'm pleased for him because he earned his um, start today, and he certainly hasn't let himself down. And the one thing he did do is leave his legs out there. You know, a great shift, and uh, it was. I was pleased for him that you know he came off at five left to go and got his standing ovation, and he earned it. Excellent. Now we move on to Tuesday, cup game, semi-final against local team of Huntingdon. Um, what are your thoughts going into that game? Oh, it's a local derby. Uh, we will be reminded by you know fans, uh, members of the club, how how serious the game is to the football club. One thing you get with us, we never enter any game. Uh, not willing to win, not with our, the same focus that we have in the league game. Uh, it's, it's a good opportunity for us to look at other bodies, but everybody that will be out on the side on Tuesday will have something to prove to us and themselves. So whoever we put out, whether people look and think, well, actually, it's, it's not a strong side as, as we finish Saturday, it's a great opportunity for us to rest a few going into next Saturday's game, and, and we'll make no bones about it, we will be doing it. But what we have been doing over the last two or three weeks is we're building a squad, uh, and what we like is competition in all places. So when you replace one, you have the same quality coming on the pitch, and and that's what the club will get. And as I said to you before, the team that goes out on Tuesday, they will be hell for leather, 100% committed. Uh, we're looking forward to a good game and obviously going to win the game because that's what we're in it for.